I have decided to go ahead and do the yellow orange that sits right between my cad my warm yellow, so cadmium yellow medium, and the orange that I just made, right? If we look over here, that's that same palette um, I was just working with, right? And in order to make use of that paint and build from there, it makes sense to just keep going um, with my um, tertiary mixtures. Um, I, I end up freehanding um, most of this. You can, if you don't want to do that and you want a crisper edge, you can go ahead and just, um, you know, make sure these, that you've used your hair dryer and then just mask right over those two edges there. Um, okay, so let's see how this goes then. Right, I'm going to be mixing that yellow orange and again I want it to sit right in the middle um, and not be too yellow or too orange, right? So it shouldn't pull more to the yellow or pull more to the orange. I'm going to need a lot more yellow there, I think. Um, remember, I do have a patch of the that orange right below my palette knife and to the right there, that little patch, remember? Um, it's good to have that test patch so I can kind of line them up. I can put that there. Oh, sorry. I can put that there and then put my yellow on the other side. It's too orange right now, too close to orange. It seems more related to orange than it does um, to yellow. It shouldn't seem related to either of them, right? It should sort of be its own thing and not pull one, you know, not pull more towards one than the other. Right, so we keep mixing. And again, you know, you, you can see how I'm doing this. It, it does take a little bit of time to get a nice thorough mixture. I'm trying to put this near so that it's right up against that orange. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, I would say. It doesn't, you know, it's hard to say if it's more related to yellow than to the orange. So I think I, am I putting a little, yeah, I put, of course, I put a little more yellow in there. I think I could have stayed the way it is, but this is fine too. Okay. Ooh. Um, and you can see the <laughs> one of the things I think you can see from the video is that is the advantage of having a really well set up workspace in that this is kind of a mess, right? You I mean, in in that you um you're going to, there's a, the paint can get everywhere, right? I mean, and it depends on just how you are w with that. Some, sometimes, you know, you try your best not to get stuff everywhere and it still gets everywhere. So you want to really be in a place where it is not the end of the world. If you get paint in some places, but really try to have lots of paper towels available, um, and you know, a good setup, don't have a bunch of other clutter around cause you're going to get paint all over it. Okay. All right. So mixing that up, I might have gone a little bit too yellow on that, but whatever. It's I think it's okay. Um, I might have, you know, I, I might have stayed. It's not bad. It's not bad. All right, so I'm going ahead and just um, cutting my edges, right? You can see how I do that with my flat brush. Um, I find that's probably the best way to do it. It depends on the quality of the brush that you have. Mine's okay. Um, it's gonna, but you know, it, you might just have, it might, it's probably definitely quicker for you to go ahead and, and mask just those two sides. Okay. It was a little more complicated with all the tape that I happened to have on there and the fact that I didn't have space in between my rows. Okay. But I think this is helpful just to see how you can freehand cut edges. Okay. All right. So let's go through this then. All right. So that finishes that up and you can see, let's look at this right here. I think that's pretty good, right? You know, you, you have this, if you look on this side, you can see a flash of red, right? I, I often think of it as looking at that. If you look across that edge from yellow to yellow orange, this here, you kind of see this pop or this flash of red right? When you look at these two against each other, when you go over to this edge between the yellow orange and the orange, when you look right here, you see a pop or a flash of yellow, right? That's kind of, and to look to see if there are equal strengths of that pop, right? Or that flash. 
that's pretty good, right? So that flash of red along this edge, that or that flash of orange, I guess, right along this edge, that flash of yellow along this edge. Um, and that's, you know, that kind of gives you a sense of that evenness of the step in between. And then it becomes a little bit, you don't kind of identify it more with the orange or more with the yellow. It's kind of unclear as to which, um, which color or which hue it belongs to, right? So and that that's a good indication. If you can't really decide, then you probably have a good tertiary mixture that sits on its own right on that in-between midpoint stage between those two hues, okay? Um, all right, so on to the next video.